Hey guys, Tech Manager with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix an issue with iMessage waiting for activation. Now, this message happens for multiple reasons. However, this can be fixed with just a couple of steps that we're going to show you guys in this video. And hopefully, by the end of this video, you can start using your iMessage if you're having issues with iMessage still awaiting to send. Now, when this issue happens, it could happen for a couple of reasons. If you switched over carriers, if you're setting up a phone for the very first time, or simply because you make a up software update and now the phone is having sort of issue. But all of them can be resolved with some of the steps that we'll show you. So first thing you want to do when resolving this is going to ha go ahead and we're going to turn on airplane mode and turn off airplane mode. Now you can do this by going to settings just like that or you can also pull down the menu up here. The airplane mode icon is right there or in your settings as you can see here airplane mode. We're going to turn on airplane mode just for a few moment here. The reason why we turn it on is that it will pretty much shut down all the network settings and then we're going to turn it back off just like that and it does a quick network refresh which sometimes can help if you're having issues with connectivity with the network or related things that's how iMessage usually works that you need a good connection either through Wi-Fi or your cellular data so we'll do that just for the first initial troubleshooting now the next thing we want to do if you're still having the issue is going into settings again this time we're going to messages but as you can see here in the messages here, there's an iMessage option. And you should, by default, notice that there's, for your send and receive, you should see a phone number or email associated with it, whatever the case is here. In the demo one, we have an email, but generally phone number works as well. Now, what we want to do is turn off iMessage for a moment here. Now, give it again a couple seconds here, and then we'll turn it back on. So once we do that, as you can see, it's waiting for activation. It comes up, and then it goes away because we have a good Wi-Fi connection here and we can use iMessage here. Now, if you're still having issues after doing all that, now it's time to check up another settings, which again, we'll be getting the settings. And this time we're gonna to go to general in the settings and then we'll look for this time date and time. I'm gonna click on date and time. And in date of time, if you see this spinning just like that, if you're setting automatically, then it means there could be an issue with your date and time setting. So one way to check is that looking at that time over here, you want to make sure that time matches your local time. Now, it might not match, let's say, if you're traveling between different time zones or if you shut down the phone or updated the software, the time could sometimes be off. But you want to make sure that is now now the same as your local time. If it doesn't automatically pick up, you can always turn off automatic and set the time zone. So make sure you're picking up the nearest time zone that you're at by clicking on this and then you can search for the nearest place that you're at to make sure it picks it up. And you can also set the date and the time manually if you need to, if it doesn't match up by clicking on that. It's important that the time and the date is correct on your phone. So either have it automatically pick up and if it doesn't, do it manually, but make sure it's the accurate time. Now, after you have done that, if you're still having issue, it's time to do one of the more famous troubleshooting step is doing a force restart of your iPhone. Now, what will force restart do? It will not delete any data, any photos, videos, apps, anything like that. All it will do is just reload the code in a nice, clean fashion way. So if there's any software issue, the phone will be fixed. So to do that, we're going to press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down. Now these, you have to do it pretty quick. You're going to just simply press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down. And then on the other side, you're going to hold this big side button until the screen goes completely black. We're not going to do any slide to power off anything like that. We're going to wait till the screen comes back with the Apple logo and we'll let go of it. So in real time, to do a force restart, we go volume up, volume down, and then hold this big side button just like that. And now we're not going to touch the screen or anything like that. We're just going to wait till it forces the phone to completely sh shut down, which you'll see a black screen, but don't worry. You keep on holding it till you see that Apple logo again on the side, and then you let go of that side button that we're holding. Again, like I said, this will perform a force restart, resolving any and all software-related issue that your phone may be impacted and that possibly impacting your iMessage from not activating correctly. Now, just keep on waiting for a moment or two, and it will reload up that, and then it'll probably ask you for your passcode if you have one, or... Uh, activate with the face ID. So once you have gone back in, now check out to see if your iMessage is working. Now, if it's still not working, the next thing you want to do after that is make sure you have the latest version of the software update itself. To do that, you're going to go into settings and then go to general and then software update. Now, 
here in the software update, it will look to see if there is an update. As you can see here, our phone is set to have automatic update, so it has the latest version 16.2 at the time of recording. But if there's an update for you, it will say download and install. And all you'll do is click on download and install, and, up it, and then, of course, update your phone to the latest version as previous minor version of software update could be impacting things like iMessage now not working. So it's always good to have the phone updated. Now, after you have done that and it's still not working, the next thing you want to do is a network reset. To do that, you're going to be in settings again. We're going to go to general again. And then this time, we're going to go down all the way to the bottom where it says transfer or reset iPhone. Now, we click on that. Once you click on that, you get a menu just like this. Now, the option we want to click on is the first one. And then once we click on reset, we'll get a bunch of these reset options. Now, we're interested on doing a network uh, reset, which is the second option. But before you click on it, a couple of things here. What does a network reset do? Well, it doesn't delete any data like your photos, videos, apps, or anything like that. But it does delete things like saved Wi-Fi, passwords. If you have VPN settings, it will delete all of that. Basically, anything related with the connectivity, if you set up things like uh, Bluetooth and things of that nature. So if you do that, it will, again, reset things like Wi-Fi. You'll need to reconnect to the password and anything. But it does help when it comes to iMessage because iMessage relies on having a good data connection. And if there's something funky going on with the network of your phone, it will help you resolve it. Now, if you've done that and if you're still having issue, by now you should be fixed and the problem should go away. But in a rare case, there is sometimes uh, outages that happen that might be rendering the service from not working from Apple's side on their server side. To check that, we go into open up a browser, right? So we'll open up a browser here, and then we'll search for something called Apple System Status Page. So if you Google this on a browser, it will take you to Apple's site, which it's called System Status. Basically, what happens is there are sometimes services that a uh, certain time to time will be down or having issues that will impact your ability to use iMessage. For example, normally if you click on this, all of these services are available and working fine. The message, the one that we're looking for is, for example, iMessage. We want to make sure that that iMessage is available. Now, if it says issues are unavailable, that means you can't use iMessage at the moment. And the only way to kind of resolve this is that you have to wait till Apple resolves it or fixes the issue. And generally, Apple resolves the issue within a few hours to maybe even uh, a day or two, depending on how severe the problem is. But if it's in a case where, as you can see here, it's an outage or issue today, for example, if you had issues with Apple Pay, for example, they had an issue at this time around the time, which means some user were not able to use that service, or there's an issue with Apple Card. As you can see, these issues happen and Apple reports it. They're usually, they are fixed, but in a case that your iMessage isn't working and you see that being an issue, you just have to wait till they fix it. Again, that's a rare case, but that is something also to kind of take note of. So that's kind of it for the video. Hopefully, one of these tips help you guys resolve the issue where iMessage is still waiting. And we want to hear from you guys which of the tips help you guys fix that issue, leave a comment in the comment section. And also, if you found a better way, also leave that in the comment section. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you hit the like and subscribe button. See you guys next time.